Hey guys, pretty late here, I'm pretty tired, but I thought I'd share a tale, a bit of a rant about uh, some of that experience today. Real life uh, white knight thuggery, basically. Very interesting. So, uh, and some other minor stuff that didn't happen in real life, but on the internet. But um, So, yeah, I'm coming back from work, and to get to work, uh, commute, probably about an hour and a half, 45 minutes each way, or whatever, and... Um, Come back from work, spent the whole day in the warehouse lifting heavy crates, you know, doing that work that I fucking hate, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Head back, get in the train. Train's always crowded, you know, that time, late in, in the or early evening, like six ish or whatever. And, um, okay, so I get in, think, hoping that I can find a seat because I have orthopedic problems with my feet. They always kill me. I wear uh, insoles, but it doesn't help that much, helps a little. Plus, my back was hurting, which is usually the case after work. And But, you know, I usually don't get a seat. It's really crowded. Oh, I see. Oh, there's a seat available. I, go, I grab it. Okay, so, so five minutes later, this woman, maybe she was in her late 20s or whatever, goes up to me and tells me that she'd actually was pl she had been planning on, on sitting down there taking that seat, but she was she, you know, waiting for all the people to get in onto the train. And I said... Why did you wait the whole time if you want to take the seat? Because it was available. And she said, well, she was waiting for people on the train. I said, uh, explain it, you know, that, well, the seat was available. I sat down. I took it. Uh, said, well, and then, but, you know, can't you just be courteous or blah, 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 shit like that. Said, well, <laughs> I spent the whole day on my feet doing physical labor since the morning. I'm tired. My back hurts. My feet hurt. I'm just going to stay here. So she started making a scene, calling me names and stuff. And then and then the White Knight Cavalry arrives. It, is, it sounds like something out of a, a well, fiction, but it actually did happen. And the funny thing is I was uh, had to think about um, Barros's video about the alpha male primitive. And yet, you know, these guys are wearing suits and ties, you know, thugs and, and suits and ties. You know, three guys, you know, giving me these discerning, disapproving look, saying, you know, I should really, and then like, one guy says, well, you know, you don't, you don't need to meet, make a scene, why don't you just give, uh, you know, give the woman your seat, and I said, why should I, I, you know, the seat was available, I took it, and, and they, and then, then they started saying, well, they're gonna, it's other people of China, so they're gonna call, like, the train security on me, or whatever, and everyone was giving me disapproving looks, I said, yeah, Okay, fine. Take the seat. I, I, why? Because I don't want to create a scene. I mean, I didn't want to get involved with security or the police or anything like that, you know. And it just goes to show, you know. Here I am, a middle-aged guy who does physical labor job, which is probably not the most strenuous physical labor. It's still physical labor. I'm tired. I'm coming home from work, and I just I saw a seat. And I'm like, if I can sit, get get, you know, because my feet are hurting. I'm always in pain after work, I, but. And this woman comes along and just says, well, I, I, I was intending on taking it. I mean, who does that? Who goes through a train? And he says, well, sorry, goes up to a stranger. I'm, you know, I was thinking about taking that seat, but I was letting the people on. And, of course, the White Knight Cavalry arrived, and everyone giving him these disapproving. And this woman was probably at best in her late 20s, maybe early 30s. Uh, I, you know, if she were a grandmother or a grandfather, well, obviously, uh, for elderly, yeah. I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't even need to be asked. I probably would just say, oh, ma'am, sir, here's my seat if they're elderly. But, you know, that's courtesy, common courtesy. But, uh, but you know, that was my first, call it a Rosa Parks moment, the first encounter with real the real-life white knight thug. Well, not entirely true, but in that context. You know, I just wanted to sit down, and it turned into this giant scene, and it became an even greater scene because I said, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here, which is you know bizarre. But uh, I mean, there's nothing really more to the story than that. But uh, it, it certainly is telling. You know, it's that, that's the way the world. When I say gynocentrism is the world model, that that is the truth. I mean, that is the world model. Um, and every man. Especially the uninitiated, or the uninitiated, the, the you know your t your blue pillar, is a potential thug uh, thug in service to uh, to a woman. 
subconsciously usually you know they're they're doing it to for access to sex I mean they're probably never gonna get sex from women but that that's what they do um, be uh, it, protect the women's so there's that story really weird stressed me out but thought I could just tell you about it because it's uh, that that's that's misandry you know I can't even let a middle-aged guy whose uh, back hurts and feet fucking hurt from lifting crates all day uh, sit down in a seat that he he took. I didn't, I didn't, you know, throw someone out of the seat or tear someone out of the seat to get there. Anyway, uh, so that was that. Interestingly enough, to top that off, I came back and then saw that uh, some thread on Bioware and some of my subs. You might be uh, your sub to me on both channels, my gaming channel and this one. So you know I play the game Mass Effect multiplayer, although it's dying off now quite a bit. I made this video, a solo video of certain setup, whatever, and this guy that I used to be quote-unquote friends with, that I unfriended after a while because of various issues, um, made this snide comment, and then I uh, said, you know, the comment was unnecessary, pointless, and you're, you're acting like a child, basically. And then he came back uh, after that, and gave uh, gave me this this diatribe about nothing to do with the gameplay nothing to do with anything uh, you know I lost any respect for you first off out of context for the, the day that you suggested Claire become a prostitute if she needed money that's actually not what I said and I'll clarify that the worst part is you were being sincere even though you hadn't meant it sincerely it was still far from appropriate there's a line a man doesn't cross stardust there's a point at which a man knows to shut the fuck up, because no one cares for your meaningless drivel. You are unable to recognize that you crossed that line a long time ago. A real man doesn't bitch and moan, blaming everyone but himself for his problems. A real man gets off his ass and solves his own problems. Blah 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 says you still have time, but I, I, but that I should, that I should pity you, but you're beyond redemption. Man the fuck up. And whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway, uh, the context there was simply uh, it was a while back. There was a conversation, and I meant this since uh, not what he said. Since I said, if I were a young, attractive woman, uh, sex is a market commodity. I would simply, for a limited time, you know, maybe between the ages of maybe 18 and 20, when uh, 25, when you know, my sexual peak mark, sexual market value, uh, I'd. I'd uh, I'd probably become a uh, sort of high-end prostitute and just make lots of money. I, I'm serious. I probably would do that if I were actually that person. Because, I mean, the amount of money you could charge, you know, say as an escort or what, I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of money you can make. Uh, so, and I said that, you know, that that's always an option someone can consider. Now, take as you may, obviously, in the red pill world, that's not offensive, but in the blue pill world, that's very offensive. So that was interpreted as me saying that uh, this person, Claire, should become a prostitute. Uh, never, never suggested that she should become one. I just said that uh, if I were a young, attractive woman, uh, I would take advantage of that, and probably, uh, in addition to whatever work I, uh, other work I'd be doing. I mean, uh, ch charging 500 bucks an hour, uh, you could work what, do a couple of shifts a, a week, maybe four or five hours of work a week, and you can make some pretty good money that way for not really doing much than just spreading your legs. And and I see actually nothing wrong with prostitution. There's nothing, I don't have the problem in moral or whatever. So that's the context for that. But then, you know, all this man up stuff. Now notice it has nothing to do with, with video games or gameplay or anything. Uh, the comment that this guy uh, posted, it's just this, it's, it's a man up thing. Um, oh, then of course the end. You're the oldest kid who plays this game and stop with your sexist w women hating crap. Well, <sighs> the interesting thing is that uh, shortly after that, this this girl that I've never talked to ever on the forums gave a plus one comment to the guy. You know, this is of course, this is white knighting essentially, and this this particular girl uh, has had apparently I discovered blocked me from even viewing her profile uh, on on this on the BSN forum, even though I had never exchanged a single word with her ever 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 talked to her. Uh, it reminded me of Girl Rights Watch's comments about women being very afraid of just about everything, and it, that seems to be true. Uh, so, retar a retarded comment. If this guy wanted to make comments about my gameplay or criticisms, and I don't think he could actually replicate what I did, but 
that's that's but not even that's besides the point. Uh, you know, his, his original comment was something to the effect of a 50-minute gold solo, blah blah blah, only Stardust. Now, like I said, I don't think he could with this with the setup I had. I don't think he can actually replicate that, or if he could, he wouldn't do that much better. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of a moot point. But it's it just, it's everywhere. You know, real life white knight thugs, th internet white knight thugs. It's it's everywhere. Uh, these these white knights, uh, and they. And even even after that, I was having a conversation on Steam with a girl that I I, I get along with. Somebody t I talk to every now and then. You know, I used to game with her. She's actually a lot more fair-minded than a lot of them. But then she was telling me she knows about my channel. Um, what you know? Why only I concentrate so much on women? I said you can't un concentrate on men exclusively without talking about women because most men are dependent on women. There's that, that there's this this context um, and I should said I shouldn't focus so much on women focus more on men but uh, the, 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 that just doesn't work you cannot talk about the, the issues that men face uh, I mean you can part, partially because but it all suddenly goes back to women why so this this punk kid who wrote that comment or the uh, the, the, the white knight thugs who accosted me in, in the train yeah they're men but they were doing it and they're all doing it because of women. I mean, that, without women in the in the uh, context, there's just no point in even talking about that stuff. Uh, I mean, because you wouldn't even have that problem. You wouldn't have people making, you know, 19 year olds making comments on a fucking uh, computer game, video game forum that have nothing to do with the gameplay about how you know I'm misogynist and uh, and this and this and that, and I should man up. I mean, it's it's just it's pathetic, but. You know, and uh, this is the blue pill world. It's the world where uh, you know a woman can uh, can get a seat, get a, can literally eject you from your seat through through coercive violence, essentially. Uh, you know because that's what she wants to do if she chooses to do so. And you know I felt pretty helpless in that train because I there's nothing I could do. You know I res res offered resistance, but up to a certain point, you know I don't want to get unfortunately beaten the crap out of by three much larger men or or in the worst security the police become involved and you know what might happen then because even though I'd done nothing wrong uh, it's just a pain, it's just work and, and issues that I don't want to have to deal with especially after a long a relatively hard day at work so I don't know end of this rant but it you know it's it's freaking everywhere it's everywhere and hopefully be prepared for a bunch of other videos I have a several videos hopefully coming up the next couple of weeks that I'm working on on and off some of them should be uh, hopefully pretty innovative or adding some new twists and new insights into things that may or may not have been covered uh, and at the very least like I said a uh, new insight in that stuff so anyway uh, have a good night I'm gonna head to bed soon uh, and uh, you know take care